serve the vision. Amen. Because you got a lot of people that are, amen. Honey, I think, I think Pastor overlooking you. He, you doing more than that, brother. Then Pastor, he come using that brother. Then Pastor, he always putting that brother. Ain't putting you up yet. All this food that, that make people not serve the vision. You got to serve the vision. Three things we need. I mean, uh, three things, uh, uh, several things that we need to serve another man's vision. Several things we need to serve another man's vision. You got three, it's, it's many, many. Number one, faith. It takes faith to serve another man's vision. Yeah. 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 You got to be full of faith. Don't go by sight. Walk by faith and not by sight. The just shall live by his faith. It takes faith. Anybody here faithful? I mean, got faith in you? You got the faith? You believe God's report? Yes. You believe what God spoke? Yes. You believe that whatever God said he can do? Yes. You ain't got to have the money. You just got to have the faith. Yes. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes. If I were waiting to have money, I wouldn't do a lot of things oh, for God. But God ain't looking for money first. He's looking for faith first. Yes. It didn't say without money you cannot please God. It said without faith you cannot please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. It takes faith to please. God. How do you serve another man's vision? Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Faith. Faith. Believing that what God spoke, he can do it. Yeah. If he said it, he can bring it to pass. Yeah. If he spoke it, he's going to make it good. Yeah. Be like Abraham. The Bible says Abraham staggered not at the promise of God yeah. through unbelief, but he was strong in faith. Yeah. faith. Number two. What does it take to serve another man's vision? Integrity and character. It takes integrity and character. Men of genius are admired. Men of wealth are envied. Men of power are feared. But men of character are trusted. Uh, uh, Let me say this again. Men of genius are admired. Men of wealth are envied. Men of power are feared. But men of character are trusted. Mm. Oh, we must have pure motives in our servitude, servitude toward our leader. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. These leaders need you with pure motives serving them. Uh -huh. And if you're not a man of character, if you're not a woman of character and integrity, you can be serving with wrong motives. Oh, uh -huh. Mm. Yes, you can. You can. You can be serving with position in mind. You can be serving, ready to undermine everything they're doing, because your character. That's why you don't put up people soon as they come in. Sometimes because they haven't developed enough character to handle the position. Character has to be developed so you can handle what we're doing. So you can handle. So you can do it with the right motive in mind. Huh? I mean, you think about it in the book of Acts. This man got baptized. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he saw Peter and them coming in there laying hands on people, and they got the feel, being filled with the Holy Ghost, that man said, oh, I want that. Let me buy that. <laughs> Let me buy that gift. <laughs> he had no character. He had no integrity. Peter looked at him and said, I perceive you are in the gall of bitterness. You and your money going to perish. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Wow. Come on, somebody. Look at somebody say you got to have integrity and character to serve another man's vision. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How much integrity? How honest are you? How honest are you? He said to get these deacons, they got to be seven men full of the Holy Ghost and good report. They got to be honest, he said, of honest report. They're honest people. You got to have honest people serving. Mm. That's good. That's good. Job said, my integrity will I not let it go. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The vision has already been given to the man of God. Oh, yeah. All we need now is people using their gifts, using their talents for his glory to yeah. serve the vision. Oh, yeah. oh, they know how to serve it if they were in charge. I told people, I said, if one of the, one of the men's name in the book of Nehemiah, those that came to help Nehemiah repair the wall, one of those men's name mean considerate. Uh -huh. And I told people, if you were the pastor and you had been studying all night long, wouldn't you want people to come to your Sunday school class? 
Mm -hmm. I'm just saying if you were the pastor. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you were the pastor. Uh -huh. Wouldn't you want people to come to your Bible study? Yeah. Right now. If you were Pastor Matt, if you was a, I'm just saying. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> See, I'm talking about serving them. Yeah. Like it's your vision, uh -huh. even though it's their vision that God gave to them, which is a heavenly vision. It only takes it the right people serving it. Right now. If we can get some people full of character and integrity. Yeah. Let me move on. Number three, commitment and faithfulness. Commitment and, commitment and faithfulness. Luke 16 and 12. Look at what Luke 16 and 12 says. And if you have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own? Mm -hmm. God said, I'm going to see what you can do with what belongs to somebody else for I ever give you what belongs to you. Right. Amen. Years ago, God told me before he blessed me with my house, the first house we got, he said, how well you take care of this apartment will determine whether or not I bless you with a house. All right, now. He's because if you don't take care of this man's apartment right. like it's your own, right, yeah. I ain't going to bless you with your own house. Right. Right. Wow. This is the Bible. If you don't do what's right, which is a, that's why my brother and I, we tell people, we served our pastor faithfully like we knew it was his vision and we were there to serve it. And because we served it well, now God made us pastors. Amen. And he the one that helped bless us. Amen. And he the one that sent us forth to do. That's right, man. Amen. 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 Y'all didn't hear what I just said. Amen. We didn't rebel on our own. Just say, I'm going to do my own thing. I don't care what Pastor said. The Lord's talking to me. <laughs> even Moses. Moses had God talking to him face to face. And he didn't even do it that way. Uh -huh. Moses didn't just come off the mountain and go out there and say, all right now, I'm ready to lead y'all out of Egypt. He went back and talked to Jethro because Jethro was over him. Right. And he saw it, and Jethro, the one that released him into it. Oh, sir. Preach it. Oh, you preach it. He went and talked back to Jethro. Yes, sir, you preach it. And God had just told him, take off your shoe from off your foot. Some of us have had a vision like that. We wouldn't talk to nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the Lord. He told me to take my shoes from off my foot. No, even though he had all that going on, he had enough sense to go back to the man that he was under. That's right. And submitted to him. Right. Even when God showed me about pastoring all stuff, I did not jump out. I went and talked to my pastor about it. He said, I've been telling you you're going to do it. You got to do it. I sat there with him and cried. Because I would have to leave it. Yeah. And I didn't want to leave it. Mm. I sat in my living room. We cried like babies. Yeah. And hugged each other. Talk about it now. Because it hurt me to know that I would have to leave him. Yeah. And stop serving him. Painful man. Yeah. I think about it now. I want to cry. Because I loved it. Yeah. And I knew that God sent me to serve him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 2 Timothy 2, 1 and 2. says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the thing which thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. The same commit thou to how many men? To faithful, faithful. men. Faithful. Who shall be able to teach others also? Give it to faithful men. Yeah. Give it to people that understand commitment. I'm sorry. I, 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 that's number three. Number, number one was faith. Number two, integrity and character. Number three, commitment and faithfulness. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so he, this is commitment and faith You got to be committed and faithful yeah. All right. Proverbs 20 and 6 says Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness But a faithful man who can find All right, Everybody ain't faithful yeah. And everybody ain't committed no. You got to get committed to this man's vision Amen, Amen. And many of you in here are yeah. That's why you can ready to get blessed Amen. That's why God went open up doors for you Amen. That's why God can reward you. The Bible says a faithful man shall abound in blessing. If you're faithful to the vision, because that's what God is concerned about. That's what Satan is upset about. That's what Satan attacked. That's what his name means. One who opposes purpose and vision. He's going to fight this. 